In the mid-90s, Apple needed a replacement for the classic Mac OS. It simply became bloated and outdated. They needed another operating system that Macintosh users could switch to when the time came. This was the foundation for Project Copeland, which was set to be released in 1996. However, Copeland never reached completion and failed, forcing Apple to continuously update the classic Mac OS up until 1998 when Apple acquired Next, Steve Jobs' computer company that he started after leaving Apple a decade earlier. Apple was able to use the Next Step operating system's core to reinvent the Mac OS. They created Mac OS X, completely redesigning the Mac OS into something more modern and advanced for the time. But what if that never happened? What if Project Copeland was successful in replacing the classic Mac OS? How different would Apple be? And would Apple even exist at this point? First of all, let's talk about Steve Jobs and the Next Company. Both Windows and the Mac OS had already dominated the PC industry for years, and Next wasn't going to explode anytime soon. In the late 90s, the Microsoft monopoly exploded in size, releasing Windows 95, <laughs> then Windows 98. To keep people using Windows, they even threw out small upgrades, such as ME, which was a, a laggy mess by the way, with uh, a lot of blue screens. Whilst they kept users waiting for Windows XP, their new redesign of the Windows operating system in 2001. Windows was a humongous competitor in the computer industry, and while the Mac's market share was falling, it definitely wasn't as obscure as Next. There was a handful of them in early days. In the late 80s, at the beginning of the graphical user interface era, many OS's emerged. IBM OS 2, BOS and IRIX were just three. Then there was Linux and Next Step. By the late 90s, the leaders in operating system technologies had emerged victorious as the smaller ones fell. The simple fact is that software was developed for Mac OS and Windows, but not other more obscure OS's making it essentially impossible for smaller OS's to have a fighting chance against Windows and the Macintosh. It was a negative feedback loop, as companies didn't see much gain coming from porting their software to a smaller user base, as opposed to putting their efforts into the two emergent operating systems. It's safe to say that in the present day, Next Step would not exist as a mainstream operating system, and that Steve Jobs would be not as known. Instead of being responsible for the iPhone and the iPad as well as our modern MacBooks, he would be known for making that Macintosh from the 80s that had some indirect influence on our modern computing. At Apple, Steve Jobs was able to release not only one, but three revolutionary products since joining back in 1996. It's safe to say he would not have nearly as much recognition if he stuck with Next as the company didn't have a bright future. What about Apple without Steve Jobs? Copeland was meant to be native, whilst the classic macOS had been recompiled on the PowerPC platform, which it was originally from the Motorola 68K, it simply was not the fastest and didn't have multitasking support. However, Apple still had a lot of work ahead of them. Add that to the already falling market share, despite being one of the biggest, and the fact that they didn't have Steve Jobs in charge, Apple would not know what to do to market and promote their new OS, even if it was a big improvement. At the rate Apple was going, it was not going to be good for the company. They needed Steve Jobs in charge and Steve Jobs needed Apple. They were better together. Through the ripples of time, we would simply not be at the level we are today. Without Apple's existence, the iPhone wouldn't exist, and mobile technology would be outdated. Android would not be the leading mobile operating system either as it was originally software for a camera. It was only used as a phone OS when Google needed to hurry up and release a smartphone in a race with Apple for the market share. It would be safe to say that phones would be at least five years behind what they are now. And companies like Samsung and Google would have their own operating system that is probably separate from Android. Without this technology, e-commerce wouldn't move as fast Instagram would be less popular or maybe not even exist, as well as a handful of other online companies. The internet would have a lot less content. Laptops may be even a lot chunkier than they are today in an alternate timeline.
Perhaps Linux would be a much larger OS, as there are a lot of people who want to use Windows and instead choose Mac. Without Mac as an option, they're driven to Linux, which has always been the third most popular. Next time you think that Mac OS is insignificant, think of the huge impact and influence it's had. It supported Apple to influence tech as it is today, decades on from the first Macintosh and the Apple One computer. I'm Austin Both, and this is what would happen if the modern Mac platform never existed.